Hi, I don't know if you clicked on this video by mistake or if you meant to, but since you're here, I got a box of goodies from Amazon. So a lot of it is probably parts for fixing computers and things like that, but I did order something very interesting this time, which is this uh, 90 watt universal charger by a company called Outtag. So that's O-U-T-T-A-G. Out tag and uh, apart from the actual like Amazon listing and other sellers selling the same item on eBay and Amazon outside of these sort of online stores I wasn't able to find much information about it but the reviews are quite good for it um, one thing that I noticed that's quite interesting and I'm gonna see now when I open the packaging is it doesn't appear to have any switches on it for selecting the voltages so a lot of universal chargers tend to have um, switches on them, like on one of the sides or on the top or something. There'll be a switch to let you know. Or, and then there's also uh, usually like LEDs on the charger to let you know what voltage you're in. So there might be a little 15, a little 19, a little 20. And if the light is on next to 15, that means you're in 15 volts. If the light is on next to 20, it means you're in 20 volts. But this one appears to only have one light and no way to change the uh, the voltages. So what I'm thinking is seeing as though there's three connecting three connectors in uh, on the end, maybe the, the the actual plugs are what determine the voltages. So like if you uh, let's say you have a plug that's supposed to be 15 volts, the little plug might send a signal to the charger saying, look, I'm uh, like, like to ask for it to output 15 volts. So anyway, one way we can test that is to uh, plug it in. So let's get the uh, power cord unwrapped here. Let's get the power cord unwrapped here. And I'm going to actually use a multimeter to check uh, what voltage is coming on the different connectors to see if, um, if it is in fact using the connectors to determine what voltage it should output. So let's go ahead and get it plugged in. Oh, we got a plastic seal to remove. All right. So we got that plugged in. And as you can see, the one little LED like I was telling you about. And what I want to do is go ahead and put a connector on it. And then use the trusty multimeter to see what the voltage is uh, it's outputting. So right now, it seems to be outputting 20 volts with this connector. Okay. So if this is a 20 volt connector, let's try one of the others. Now I recognize this one. This looks like a lot like the Dell connector. So this should be 19 or 19.5. I believe it's 19.5. So let's see what, uh, what this outputs. 20 volts apparently. Okay, so that says 20 volts. I didn't shock myself, I just stabbed myself with the prongs. And let's check one of these other connectors. And uh, see what we get. Now, uh, I did read the instructions on the website and I'm wondering if it'll say the same thing in those instructions. But it did give you a warning that, oh, warning, you know, make sure you verify the voltage. Okay, so this one is 19.5. So that's 19.5. And I'm wondering if one of these smaller plugs, these connectors are very stiff, by the way. I'm wondering if one of these smaller plugs will give a lesser voltage. Huh. I'm not actually able 
to read the voltage on this connector because it's too small for my multimeter prong to penetrate it. Oh, so let's try maybe this connector. Very interesting to show you in front of my camera. How are the people supposed to see me, Zusha, if you block them? Hmm? So this should be a 15 volt connector. And indeed it is. Hmm. So it seems like the way that this universal charger works is that it actually has a little teeny tiny uh, markings on the side that you I doubt you can read and for example this one here says output 19 volts and I can find another connector that says also 19 other one says 19 vast majority of them say 19 this one says 19.5 this one should output 20 volts. This one should output 19.5. This one should output 18.5. This one should output 19 volts. This one should output 19 volts and so on. So basically it's quite simple. Um, you have a laptop you need to charge. You check what the power it, it requires and you find one that has a compatible head a head that will fit the socket at least and outputs the right voltage for your machine and there you go and if you bonus if you have a multimeter you could just test the output voltage to verify that it is actually outputting the right voltage but i tested a few of them i tested the 15 volt one it said 15 volts i tested the 19.5 volts it said 19.5 volts so so far uh it appears to be working and uh i do generally like it um one of the things i like about it is that there's no switch, which can be a bad thing or can be a good thing. So um, with a switch, you set the switch to the voltage you want, and that's absolutely the voltage you'll get. But then you could accidentally flick the switch to a higher voltage than the machine requires and perhaps destroy a machine. Uh, so not having a switch, how this universal charger works is, uh, at least how I believe it works, is there's a chip in each of the connectors and it just sends a signal to the to the uh, the charger to let the charger know how much power it should output. So if you put one of these 15 volt uh, heads on the universal charge, for example, it will tell the universal charger that it requires 15 volts and the universal charger will output 15 volts. And if you put a 19.5 volt head on the universal charger, it will output 19.5 volts. If you put a 20 volt, head on the universal charger it'll output 20 volts so all you have to do is read the voltage on the head and that should be the voltage that the universal charger outputs way simplifying things rather than having to find the right head and then manually sliding or, or uh, moving a switch to the appropriate voltage so i, I kind of like the the fact that it doesn't have a switch it, it does simplify things uh quite a lot 
I, I do like that. I appreciate it. Uh, four and a half. No, it can output four and a half to six amps. Uh, so <laughs> six amps uh, is a, quite a lot of power for something this small, this compact, this pretty, quite frankly, because it's quite a nice. It's quite a nice looking charger. It's not big and fat and ugly like a lot of chargers. It's not heavy that you have to lug around. So it's quite nice. And uh, uh, so far, I recommend it. The Outag uh, charger. It's quite nice.